With 1.1 million passengers waiting for the T every day, MBTA General Manager Richard Davey has a lot on his plate. I'm Lisa Vanderpool, and for this week's Power Player, I'm heading over to the MBTA's control room, where I'll check in with Davey about his first year managing the T. So Richard, the T has gotten more and more high tech. Now there are smartphone apps for the red, blue, and orange lines, but there's still a lot of progress to be made. We've been really leading the nation. We are very close, we're about that close to announcing real-time information from commuter rail, probably in the next 60 to 75 days. We're also looking at another application which I'm very excited about. We borrowed a page from the city of Boston which allows citizens to email potholes and sort of physical plan issues. So we're going to do the same with the T. So if you see a light bulb out, you know, a trash can that needs to be picked up, uh, any other issues, uh, you'll be able to get that into us. They'll go right to a work order and our crews will get out there. So you've been with the T for almost exactly a year, and one of the most high-profile things you've done is that you've installed surveillance cameras inside buses. They come now with cameras both external, in case there's some kind of an accident, but also internal too, mostly for security purposes. The T has a $137 million budget deficit. What are some things you're doing to balance that? Now's not the time to uh, be hiking fares while we think jobs are starting to come back in the city. We're looking at uh, selling or leasing the North Station garage. We're also looking at a, a parking securitization program to basically use the proceeds from our revenues to bond with. The T and the commuter rail definitely have some issues with delays, which everybody loves to talk about. One of the reasons is old trains. There were communication issues. It has nothing to do with the old fleet. You know, we bought our first two new locomotives since 1988 and introduced those into the fleet. And last year, we purchased 75 new double-decker coaches, and those begin to arrive next year. Bostonians definitely feel like it's their right to complain about the tea, and you've actually sort of given them a new way to do it because you have a Twitter account. We have now over 5,000 uh, followers. We need to make sure that the bureaucracy at the tea is not looking inward but looking out. It's a great way for me to see what's going on in real time. You know, general managers come and go, but the trains and buses always run, so it's not my tea, it's, it's the public's tea. I think more education, the more we can do uh, with our customers, the better informed they'll be and have a better appreciation for what we're up against. You take the tea every day, most days. What grade would you give the tea service? My experience, I'd give a B plus, A minus, okay. but I know that my experience is not every customer's experience either. All right, Richard, so now we're going to do a lightning round. Okay. What is your favorite movie? Uh, Star Wars or Fletch. What's your favorite book? My favorite book is called Remembering America by Dick Goodwin. What's your favorite meal? My favorite meal is anything that my wife will make. What's your favorite leisure activity? I like to golf, like to read, and uh, travel. What's the best piece of business advice you've ever gotten? You're only as good as your last rush hour.